<coughs> okay world, uh, this is the last video. This is all after I'm done here. Um, this is the coil. You know, I'm not going to blow it out because it's inside the house. I don't want to make a bunch of mess. And it's like 75% clean, so that's right. I just want to keep it under 50%. Uh, put the drain back in where it goes. Uh, snapped it in. A little holder right there. Make sure it drains into there. Wiped out the bottom in there. Wiped out the carbon compressor. This unit, I plugged it back in. Uh, as you can see, the fan is running. When I plugged it back in, because it's been off for probably half, about a half hour, um, you can run this unit without the back cover on it. Um, I don't know about other units, but you have to look. See how this is a duct. It's kind of sucking the whole thing. If the fan is out by itself and there's no duct, you know, it's not sealed, you know, like the air, this air is sucking it through this area and blowing it out here. It's blowing the warm air across the compressor and through this compartment. So this is like a ducted area. If it's just a fan and there's a space between whatever it's pulling through, you cannot run the refrigerator without the back panel on because the back panel acts as the duct to bridge the gap, if you understand what I'm saying. So, um, Okay, so that's that. Just wiped it out, wiped the bottom, wiped the little wheel off a little bit over here and just visual inspection and just if you want to know these wires are the wires that go to this fan so uh, that's that and so I'm just gonna put it back together all right uh, thanks for watching this is a uh, GE, GE hot point uh, side by side refrigerator been a good refrigerator for me for like 11 years I bought it brand new when I moved in here so uh, just so you know also good life on a compressor is 12 years a uh, refrigeration compressor that runs all the time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, you know, on and off for uh, 12 years is the good life. So this is coming up. Then they'll start to run more. And you should think about replacing your refrigerator probably at like 15 years if you if it goes that long, you know. Because otherwise it just, the electricity bill you're going to notice is going to start going up drastically. It's going to double, quadruple, you know, triple, quadruple, you know, it's... So, anyways, um, at 20 years, compressors are pretty much, they're done. They're, uh, they're running all the time and costing you four times the money, you know, in your electricity bill that you'd be paying for a new fridge. So, uh, if you got a fridge that's 20 years old, you want to, uh, you know, trash it and get a new or recycle it or whatever. Whatever is politically correct these days to say. Um, anyways get rid of 20 year old fridges the new fridges man they're really efficient uh this like i said this ge hot point side by side has been really good to me uh for the last 10 years and my electricity bill it my whole electricity bill for the place is i don't know like 30 or 40 dollars a month and fridge is probably 20 dollars of that a month you know so i mean older fridges are going to cost you like 40 or 60 dollars a month to run so anyways uh that's my two cents so as a refrigeration contractor for the last 30 years, I've been doing this uh, refrigeration, heating, air conditioning, refrigeration for since 1981. So all right, uh, hopefully you like the video and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Uh, happy cleaning.